Force is our reporter. And DeJounte Murray out with a recent injury. Yeah, and it speaks volumes about his toughness that he considered playing through the injury. Fortunately, the coaches and doctors talk some sense into him. Yeah, you know, he's a fighter. He's a competitor. He's a grinder. And you know he's going to stay connected and engaged with his teammates, doing what he can to lift them up and help them from his role off the court now. Let's take a look at our starters for Atlanta. They've got Rui Achimura, Trey Young out there with Thompson, and it's Hunter in at the five spot. Now here's Hardaway. Pass to Gasol. Here's Marion. Six to shoot. Fires from 14. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Young season, young talent, Grant. What do you look for to identify an up-and-coming team with a chance to be special? Well, B.A., obviously you have to start with talent. But then it's fit, it's identity, it's personality. I mean, all of those ingredients matter in becoming a top team. Now here's Hardaway. Fires from the wing. Offensive rebound. Williamson finds Gasol. Second chance effort. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. I like the poise and the savvy there. Gasol pulling his defender in with the fake to get some contact. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. And here is Young. Pass to Hunter. From downtown. That one's good, and it's Young with the assists. Hunter's got five points. Yeah, what a look. I mean, Young, a high-level passer. Young against Hardaway. To the left wing, Marion. Drains the triple. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Young against Hardaway. Pass to Achimura. Another three for Atlanta. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Here's Marion. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Putting some real power behind that throwdown. What a jam by Marion. Young from long range. Anderson pulls it down. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three point line. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Hunter can't get it to go. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Pass to Anderson. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Murrow from long range. Counted from distance. Six points for him. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Hardaway, the pass to Gasol. Tipped. Here's Hawkins. Pass to Young. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. And here's Thompson for three. That one's good. And it's Young with the assist. Young's got his third assist of the night. Here's Hardaway. The rebound by the Hawks. It's not getting much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. And it's slammed in by Achimura. And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Now a timeout called by Kansas City. The Knights trail. And there's the lob. Boy, left it right in the sweet spot with the lob. Nicely done. Boy, moving the ball with purpose there. Fultz has tremendous offensive potential, and we're seeing him put it all together now. And Young gets it to go. Three. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Now here's Williamson. Gasol misses. Hawkins, the pass to Achimura. Young from long range. Another three for Atlanta. 
They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with puns blazing. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. From deep, sends it home Trey from three-point land. Three points. Young's got nine points. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone, no man's land. Giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. Now a timeout called by Kansas City. All right. Branham's checked in for Williamson. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You look at Atlanta, things stacking up nicely for them so far. Number one in their conference and looking formidable. Six games behind. I think for Kansas City, you have to really give it to them. I mean, they are backing up all the preseason hype. They've been outstanding early. It appears to me, though, that this group has all the ingredients for a special season. Here's Branham. Oh, no good! Unable to end this run. Here's Jaquez. Great look there, but off target. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you gotta knock it down. Here's Branham, 11 feet out, and he hits it. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Young for long range, Trail. and the Hawks with another three. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact the defense they want to see out of him. A big-time effort for Trey Young, providing a lot of energy for the Atlanta Hawks. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. Back after this. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Hawks. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. We've got Markel Fultz. Also, Tim Hardaway out there. And it's Zubats in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Hawks, they've got Malik Beasley. And it's Achimura in at the power forward position. At the line for the Hawks. And today's team's all looking to space the floor with shooters, Clark. Thinking back, do you ever wonder why it took so long to catch on? Uh, I haven't thought about it in that context, B.A., but I think part of it is you've got to have a lot of shooters to take advantage of it first and foremost. And now, again, with the likes of Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Damian Lillard and so many other outstanding perimeter shooters, more and more of those guys are coming into the league and following their example. And for Kansas City, Markel Fultz is out there with Tim Hardaway. Then there's Ivica Zubac, and it's Anderson in at the three. Jameson has earned the trust of his teammates on the alley-oop play. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Perry's checked in for Fultz. Hardaway on the wing. Seven points in the game. Count that one. And their offense seems to be coming around. Now they're shooting upwards of 50% from the field. And, you know, that's a really good sign. I mean, they stumbled out of the gate, but uh, they're starting to look a little better now and regaining some ground. And so here is Kansas City. The Hawks getting their last shot to go. Hawkes, the pass to Achimura. And the Hawks with another three. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. There's a screen. Hardaway with it. Hachimura covering. Here's Jamison. Connects on the foul line jumper. Jamison's got his second basket of the game. Coach is loving the ball movement. Beasley for three. Here's Hunter. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. Smart pass there by Beasley. He spots a guy with a better shot and doesn't hesitate to get him the ball. Outside Hardaway, beyond the arc. 
Rebounded by the Hawks. Hunter's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Jaquez. From outside, off the mark. And Clark with Malik Beasley. He's someone who can really light it up offensively. Yeah, you know, he can shoot it off of movement, off the dribble pull-up, or he can take it all the way to the rack. I think he's much more than just a spot-up three-point shooter. Sinks the tray. Hachimura's got 14 points. And now he's dropped two three-pointers in each quarter. Pass to Hunter. Oh, oh, nice! Oh, big finish! Man! Ooh, powered down with both hands. They're really in control on both ends of the floor right now. Time out, forcing time out. turnovers and finding out. easy points while the other guys struggle to keep up. Now a timeout called by Kansas City. Get my fans on the court of your high Give them a hand, fans. That was your Kansas City Knights answers. Hawks on D. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin of the game. For three, Hardaway. Hunter with the rebound. Hunter's got eight rebounds in the game. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Got a hand on it. Pass to Hunter. You know, when Beasley stays within himself, I think he's really an effective player. And we know he's skilled on offense. Second team <laughs> I just love the ball move. At the line for the Hawks, Malik Beasley. One shot. The free throw off from Beasley. Here's Williamson. A shot to stop the run. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Scoring in the NBA is the First highest it's been in over 50 years, Clark. You think it's time for some rule changes to help the defense? You know, I'm not sure where you would go in that regard because every rule change, for the most part, has certainly tilted towards the offense recently. And, and I don't necessarily have a pri problem with that. The NBA has made it clear that entertainment is a core pillar and appeasing and appealing to their fans is a huge driver, and that means more offense as opposed to more defense. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, he just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. And with his height, the defense unable to impact the shot on the closeout. Inside, Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. And giving them what they want, the incredible dunking ability of Zion on full display. And the basket by Achimura. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. Here's Marion. Drains it. Now he's three for five. That unique-looking jumper of Marion's, I mean, it's more effective than it is pretty. Left side, Hunter. Up and over Gasol. And again, it's Atlanta. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. Outside Hardaway, pass to Marion, over Beasley, Marion misses. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, as they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. You got a rebound. And so here is Kansas City. Red can't get it to go. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. And it's Achimura missing. It's not easy to finish in traffic, but those are chances he has to convert. Drills it from deep. Achimura's got 20 points. You know, he started the game knocking down shots, guys, and now in the second quarter, he's taking it to another level. Sinks it from Michael distance. For the long ball of Michael Red, the sweet shooting lefty, continuing to light it up from here. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks with a commanding lead to end the quarter. 27 points, looking good. And they've been shooting the lights out from the arc. All those threes have this poise for a blowout. We'll be right back after this word. Hello, everybody. 
maybe a bit of a surprise in this one, but what a fantastic first half we witnessed for the Atlanta Hawks. Kenny, when you were playing, did you like that halftime break, or would you rather get the third quarter started right away? Uh, early in my career, I wanted to stay in the flow, keep the heart rate up, you know? I didn't need the rest, but the fans did. Without that break in the middle, they would have passed out from cheering. There's no record of that, but I'll say the backboards probably appreciated the break. And now talking about our current game, got to be impressed with the big halftime lead for the Atlanta Hawks. They've been the better passing team tonight by far. Everyone's looking engaged, involved. They have great chemistry out there. Yeah, you can see these guys enjoying playing together. That makes everything easier. Practice, traveling, all of it. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Boy, you have to like what we're seeing from Rui Achimura. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Quinn Snyder. They've got Johnson. Tim Hardaway is out there with Trey Young. Then it's Rui Achimura, and it's Hunter in at the five. Now here's Williamson. Pass to Red. Here's Marion. Jacks up a three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Marion's got ten points in the game. Well, we can see Marion likes the corner shot because he takes it with no hesitation. Here's Achimura. Kicks it out to Hardaway. Offensive rebound. The three ball. He can't hit that time. Bad offense to begin the second half. Four misses right off the bat. Williamson, it's good on the footback. He's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Pass to Hardaway. With the fadeaway. That one's good. And it's Young with the assist. Assisted. Young's got his fourth assist in this one. They can finally relax after missing their first four shots to start this half. Now here's Hardaway. He's got nine. That one off the back iron and out. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. Cameron this is going to be a test three. of his resolve here. And, and just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on it. Hardaway's shot is good. Yeah, and Hardaway has a nice jumper. Excellent jumper, as a matter of fact, especially from the mid-range. No time wasted getting it off. Now here's Hachimura. 20 points for him. Akangu's checked in for Hachimura. For Atlanta. Number 17, Onyeka Okangu. The Knights really having a tough go here. Outside Hardaway. Hunter with the rebound. Hunter's got 15 rebounds here tonight. And they're plus five on the boys Tim after Hardaway that rebound. Jr. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Brian Commissioner Adam Silver has done a 180, once in favor of raising the NBA age limit to 20. He now supports lowering it back to 18. He said it's the right thing to do, adding that the opportunity to work with players at a younger age on not just skills, but mental health, diet, character, and values could be in everyone's best interest. GA? Well, it didn't happen yet, Allie. We'll see. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Fires it from 18. And Jim again, Hardaway it's Jr. Atlanta. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. Looking at a player like Tim Hardaway Jr., you don't have to encourage him to fire away, Clark. Yeah, he's a guy who's always hunting his shot, looking to let it fly from deep. And for good reason. He's an excellent three-point shooter. Yeah, and you know, Red is a stealth sniper. I mean, somebody who operates well off of screens and has a quick release as well can get his own shot, too. 
And he's good on the second. And he makes all three. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Pass to Okongwu. Hard away with it. Here's Hunter. That one rolls around and rims out. Down low. Here's Jamison. Tries again. And he lays it up and in. Jamison's got six. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've at really the got to box. pick up that interior defense. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Atlanta. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. Also, they were ultra consistent from outside, hitting a high percentage of those shots tonight. 151 left to play in the third quarter here. Outside, Anderson. Gasol passes to Anderson. Outside Hardaway. Let's a floater go. And the officials call goaltending. So they'll award the basket. Well, at least the D was going for it. But he got to the ball just a moment late. 133 left in the third quarter. And Young, here we go. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. A high degree of difficulty on that hoop. Trey with some tough points. Back to Hardaway. Shoots over Young. And Young with the block. And that'll be Kansas City's ball as it goes out of bounds. Knight's able to keep the possession. Here's Hardaway, and he drops it in from the low post. Hardaway's got six points in the quarter. Hey, don't let the height of Hardaway fool you. He's not that big, but he can compete anywhere on the court. 51 seconds left in the third quarter. Gasol up top. Pass to Anderson. Here's Jamison, guarded by Young. The shot by Jamison, no good. Here's Hardaway. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. The officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Boy, an attacker who's not afraid to get a little rugged and physical. I like Hardaway Jr.'s disposition, fellas. Hardaway hits them both. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half, and... That's taking care of business, fellas. Hardaway, the pass to Jamison. Hits the trifecta. Jamison's got nine. Good decision making. Scopes the situation, puts the pass right on the mark. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. Outside, Anderson. The three. The shot comes out. For three, Hardaway. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good! Just nails the three. Way to close the quarter. Talk about lifting up a team and energizing them at the end of a quarter. A three at the buzzer, that'll do it. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks with a gigantic 33-point lead at the close of the quarter. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four, we've got Ivica Zubats. And it's Fultz in at the point guard position. Against good defense, he finds just enough room to operate. The rebound by the Hawks. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. 
it seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. After a slow start to his career, Clark, it seems Markel Fultz has found his comfort zone. And, you know, B.A., it's really good to see because he really struggled early with that frozen shoulder injury he had and lost a lot of confidence. A former number one overall pick, that brings a lot of pressure and expectations. Man, I tell you, this young man has weathered a lot and has come out on the other side in good fashion. Great to see. Reliable approach. Getting the ball in the paint and going to work. Young finds Johnson. Fade away. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Young's got nine assists now tonight. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that got him into the hole. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and polish and just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Johnson with a bucket. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. You know, the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot, not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out-shoot out this team. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. The shot by Johnson, no good. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Count it, good. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Young, the pass to Hardaway. And the Hawks with another three. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. You know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. Here's Jamison. Six on the shot clock. Oh, what a play. Just palms the block. Left side, Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. But you know, guys, we know Hardaway can score, but when he makes these passes, it makes him a lot more dangerous. Fultz, offline from the high post. Here's Atlanta with the ball. Here's a Kongwu. Oh, the dunk by a Kongwu. Getting up and then throwing it down. Oh, that was a big hammer right there. Boy, the guys on the bench loving every minute of that one. Now here's Fultz. Pass to Anderson. Outside Fultz to the middle. Here's Jamison. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Well, I like watching Fultz work the pick and roll. And when you give him space to pass, he makes you pay. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision. Jamison remaining. In the game. Fultz with Two it. Minutes. Guarded by Young. Here's Jamison. Shoots over a Kongwu. The shot by Jamison. No good. This one for three. That's good from a Kongwu. On the assist by Young. Three points. A Kongwu's got seven points for the quarter. Here's Fultz, plenty of space, and misses it off the right side of the rim. Atlanta with the ball. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Hawks. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And they add to the win column their 19th victory this year. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. It sure is. It's just the two gamers since they're in opposite conferences, and you can bet they'll take the same approach right into game two that they had tonight. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Big Dog. He really influenced the game with his rebounding. Just a stellar performance. With all the work he put in, he's going to sleep well tonight. Fires in the triple. And 
this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. Now here's Fultz. 11 feet out. It's tipped. And they're running. Here's Hunter. The shot, no good. And the Knights with possession. Shot and game clock separated by five. Oh, and Johnson with a block. And they'll keep possession. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to be on Cameron Johnson. And he knocks down the first one. Well, you look at Gasol's stroke now. He's a pretty reliable and respectable free throw shooter. Um, he doesn't get there quite as much as you think for a big guy, but he does convert when he gets there. Johnson for three. Another three for Atlanta. Three. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exits. So we see the Hawks taking the W here. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching as we leave you with the New Balance Player of the Game.